Welcome to Blue Air Force, the podcast. My name is Bob Gaylor, and I'm the retired 5th Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. I am 90 years old, and I live in San Antonio, Texas. Believe it or not, at one time, I was 18 years old, living in Mulberry, Indiana, a very small town. I had a fairly good job, but I was looking uh, to find myself in life. I thought there's got to be more to life than Mulberry, Indiana. I convinced my classmate, Eldon Skiles, uh, to go down and talk with a recruiter in Lafayette, Indiana, and on the 8th of September, I raised my right hand and joined the United States Air Force on a three-year enlistment. Rode a train to San Antonio, Texas, the farthest I'd ever been from home, and began 13 weeks of basic training. Uh, to appreciate basic training in 1948, the Air Force was still segregated. The integration did not occur until July of 1949. We were issued Army-type uniforms. Uh, the Air Force had not been able to transition into Air Force Blue. And the amazing thing was that uh, it was common to leave Lackland not knowing one's career field. The base of assignment would determine what your career field was going to be. Uh, so I left Lackland uh, and was assigned to Waco Air Base, Waco, Texas, and I began my three-year Air Force career. Little did I know at that time that three years would become 31 years, and I retired uh, from active duty in September 1979. Uh, you need to know a couple of things. Number one, that I am very proud that the Air Force allowed me to serve in that great organization. And if I was given the opportunity to do it all over again, I'd do it without any hesitation. The greatest thing about the United States Air Force are the guarantees that come with uh, being a member of the force. You are guaranteed the highest level of training in whatever career field you may go into. Cyber command, mechanics, security forces, the medical, personnel, transportation. Uh, you will be guaranteed the very best training at one of our superb training locations, such as Keesler, Mississippi, Shepherd, Texas, Lackland Air Force Base, the Language School in Monterey, California. And second, you will be given the opportunity to showcase your talent, whatever your skills, knowledge, abilities, motivations allow you to do. Uh, there is no holding you back. You can be whatever you want. It was in the decade of the 70s that we increased the number of women to whereas now women make up right at 20% of the total enlisted force and what a magnificent contribution they have made over the years. So I'm very biased. I'm biased toward the United States Air Force. I think it's a great organization of teamwork, standards, goals, discipline. It was the best thing that ever could happen to this young lad from Mulberry, Indiana. Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force is the highest enlisted grade, one of a kind, a unique position. Number 19 was just selected uh, in July of 2020. Uh, for the first time, a female, Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joanne Bass. And so there's no holding an airman back. Uh, you can be just about anything that your desires and skills allow you to be. I would suggest that uh, if you have not already enlisted, give it a lot of thought. What a great organization. An organization of teamwork, standards, discipline, integrity, honor. Uh, a great opportunity for any young man or young woman uh, who would uh, enjoy pursuing that type of career. Good luck to you. Best wishes. 
Thank you to Chief Gaylor, and thank you all for listening to this first episode of Blue Air Force. Special thanks to bensound.com for providing the free royalty music for this episode. We have a lot of great episodes coming up, so please come on back and check us out. Thank you, everybody. Bye.